Welcome to the channel. Well, I painted my truck with Raptor Liner, and I was thinking I might as well paint my trailer too. First off, we got a big old dent right here. I'm gonna try to get out. Listen, I'm not the best body man, but I'm gonna heat it up and beat the crap out of it and see what happens. Listen, I bought this trailer used for two thousand dollars. Gosh, I get. I need to get the trailer business. This trailer's in good shape. It just needs the uh, got a lot of scratches and it's starting to rust. So that Raptor liner should do the trick. I'm gonna get my blowtorch and heat it up a little bit and start beating on it. It ain't gotta be perfect. I need one of those like big acetylene torches, don't I? I don't know if I'd even know how to operate that. Let's see if that does anything. Hey, that came out quite a bit. <laughs> Got a little Harbor Freight special here. Look at that. I've had this probably six years. It's brand new. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how to use this stuff, but figure it out. Remember that show Monster Garage on, uh, I think it was on Discovery with like Jesse James? I used to love that show. What happened to him? He got married to Sandra Bullock and went crazy, I think. Man, yeah. Hey, that looks pretty good. Man, yeah. You call me Jesse James. All right. You're talking about perfection. It don't get no better than that, son. At least for me, anyways. Hey, it's better than it was, you know. I got a lot of respect for them people that work in tire shops. I would not want to do that job. That's not going nowhere. I usually will use some like 80 grid or 180 grid or something like that, but I've got this old wire wheel here. I'm just going to use it to go over it and maybe take some 80 grit places I can't get with this and should be good enough. May have to break out my corded drill. I'm gonna run the battery dead on this real fast. We'll see how long it lasts. Any of y'all ever, I keep bringing up these shows, I don't know why. You ever watch that American Restoration show? Whatever happened to that guy? All these shows, they got successful and they just went away. I used to like that show American Pickers until I went in their store in Nashville. You talking about pricey. They up charging you big time in that place. There'd be a lamp in there from 1980, $10,000. <laughs> I don't know if it's that much, but it's freaking high. I didn't even buy nothing in there. Oh, my drill dead. I'm going to break out the old Black & Decker. Tell you what, Black & Decker may be cheap, but they'll last forever. Hey, at least the boards are in good shape. I ain't got to replace those. Whew. I ain't never done that, but that looks like it'd be a job. Went to AutoZone and got some 80 grit. I'm going to use it to sand all these uh, braces and all the, all the bottom and all that. So hey, I found this Raptor liner. It's gray. So I would give that a shot. I think it'll look good. Honestly, this thing really don't even need sanded. It's all beat up pretty good, but... I'm gonna go ahead and sand it and get it as smooth as possible and we'll spray this sucker. Hey, Raptor Liner's gonna have to send me a free shirt after all this free advertisement I'm giving them. I don't think I'm gonna do any sponsorships. They had to give me a lot of money, you know, like a dollar per view. Hey, that'd be a good deal, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, I don't think nobody's gonna do that. I think people that does all these sponsorship things, man, do they even like the product, you know? It's hard to like give your honest opinion about something. I mean, if you're getting paid for it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if I use something that don't work, I'm gonna tell you, okay? Hey, you can only find this kind of content on YouTube because uh, I'm not on nothing else. Hey, I bought me one of them Blackstone grills at Walmart. It's like 2.99. 
I think it's freaking awesome. I got like the 36 inch one. I love that sucker. I had this guy that commented on my last video. Uh, he's from the UK. I didn't, I guess I didn't think about it. YouTube is like worldwide. <laughs> I was just thinking people from the United States watched, you know, but hey, bud, I appreciate you watching. Got some pretty heavy rust right here and down here on the fender, so I'm going to try to get most of that off and I'm going to spray it. It'll be fine. What you call a tire gauge air blow. Whatever works, you know. Got me some degreaser. Wipe it down and let that dry good and tape it up and spray it. I don't see how this Raptor liner wouldn't be better for a trailer other than the paint they put on it, you know. As you can tell, this one's all scratched all the crap. Get my plastic and I'm gonna tape my wood up, and my lights and be ready. Take my brake lights up and I think that'd be good. Hey, do me a favor and subscribe, please. I ain't making no money off this, okay? AutoZone only had two cams of this gray Raptor liner, so I think it's going to be enough, but I'm hoping this one can will do one coat and I can do two coats on it. Y'all ready for this? Hey, I like that color. I don't think I'm gonna have enough for two coats, so I'm trying to do one solid thick coat. Seems to be covering pretty good, so. May have to do the inside black. Hey, be like two tone, you know? I don't think I'd look bad. I'll go ahead and tell you right off the bat, this gray does not spray as good as the black. I don't know why. This may have been sitting on the shelf for a long time. Be my luck. I guess we're going with the two-tone look. Hey, I like this color. Uh, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. Then I'll go get some black uh, Raptor liner. And... Uh, We'll tape it up and paint the inside black and maybe the tongue. I don't think that looked bad. Okay, I went and got some black Raptor liner. And I kind of taped it up a little bit. Trying not to get overspray on everything. And I got this thing that I can use to hold behind it. So we're going to try that. I think it's going to look good with the two-tone. Here we go. Wish me luck. Hey, what y'all think about that? I'm going to tear it down and I'll pull it outside and we'll see what it looks like. Here's what it looks like outside. Hey, I'm glad there wasn't enough gray. That two-tone really makes it look better. But uh, it's still got a few dents in the fenders and stuff like that, but that's fine. It's a work trailer. I was just trying to keep it from rusting, but hey, thank you for watching and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.